lower latitudes, uh, oh, they're all warming up quite fast, but the Arctic is warming up two, three or four times as fast. And that means that, that all the effects that we see are happening uh, much more rapidly in the Arctic, especially the, the melting of ice, especially in the summer. And this has further effects on other aspects of the climate system. So it's, it's a very big change. Um, for instance, when you look at a satellite picture of the Earth in the summer, uh, northern summer, from space, it now looks blue at the top end instead of white. So there's a big change to the whole planet that's, that's due to this change in the Arctic. Well, the, the, this Arctic death spiral, it, it's produced by uh, working out the, the volume of ice in the Arctic in each month of the year. So that's the area that we get from satellites multiplied by the thickness that we get from submarines. And so we have the volume of ice in the Arctic in each month of each year. And we go back to the 1970s and then uh, as we go around the clock, if there were no change, everything would stay at the same distance from the centre, the same amount of ice in the same month of each year. But in fact, we find that, that each year there gets to be less ice um, in, in a given month, and so it, it spirals in towards the centre. And the, the month that will reach the centre first is September, because that's the month of minimum ice. So the rate at that, which that's going will mean that it will reach zero in about two years' time. So we can expect the Arctic to be ice-free in September by 2015, but then the other months of the year uh, will take longer to, to get to zero. So uh, we'll find for maybe two or three years there'll be an ice-free September. Then the next year we'll see August and October ice-free as well. So the, the ice-free season will expand gradually. And uh, well, we don't know when that will stop, whether it will ever reach the point where the ice is has gone for the entire year. Just, just by looking and being on the ice, um, these big changes because of the surface of the ice are now looking different, um, especially in the winter. It used to be when we work on the ice to do scientific work, usually the best time of year is from March to May because it's cold, uh, but there's plenty of daylight. You can operate aircraft, land them on the ice and do your work and you've got 24 hours of daylight, you've got calm conditions and it's winter. But um, now um, the ice is already melting then and so we get lots of fog in May instead of, uh, instead of clear conditions and uh, you don't have safe places to land an aircraft anymore. You, you can't work, you don't have a nice proper Arctic winter anymore and that, that's a big change.